about monks, Buddhist monks, all right? So they host a show on YouTube, right? And they'd go on a live stream like this, like what I'm doing right here on this show. This is called a live stream. I'm talking live to you right now. Anyways, these two monks, they have their own show on YouTube and it's live, all right? And um, there were some people that really liked the monks and there were some people who criticized about the monks and we will see in this news article, we will see why that happened, all right guys? So stay tuned. If you are still here, all right, let me know by pressing one below so I know you are listening to me. Okay, so monks in trouble over live stream. Let's take a look at this news together. All right. So what I'm going to do is I am going to read out the article. I want you to listen to how I say it. All right. And then try to read along maybe in your mind. All right. And you see these highlighted words or phrases. These are important. Because if you know how to use these words or phrases, your English will get better. And that's what we'll do this time. All right, so let's go and start with the first article. Thank you, Kun Felix, Kun Benjawan, Kun Muang An, Kun Kun O, Kun Genipa. I am here, Krab. Yes, thank you very much. All right, first paragraph. Two monks are in trouble over the live streaming session of political messages and laughter. All right, let's take a look, shall we? So you know monks are in Thai, we call pra, right? So these are um, called monks. Everybody knows what, what monks are. When you say somebody is in trouble, they got into trouble, okay? So um, they did something wrong, okay? Possibly. Possibly, let's say that. Possibly, they did something, okay, abbreviation, wrong. Whoops, wrong. Well, when you say in trouble over, it's like about, about their live streaming session. Um, so so they talked about a lot, what? Politics, they talk about politics. Now, the adjective form of politics is political. Can you say political? Political messages. Okay. Ah, I see myself blocking. Okay. Um, yeah, political messages. Let me let me unblock this. Okay, that's better. Political messages and laughter. Now, laughter. What is laughter? A lot of you probably don't know the word, right? Can first say it. Laughter. Two syllables. Laughter. Laughter. Good. Laughter is basically, you know laugh, right? Ha 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 ha. You know, laugh. Now the noun form of laugh, all right, this is the noun form, is laughter, right? Now, makes sense, right? Okay. So yes, these two, these two monks, they laugh a lot. So, Pramaha, som, wait, Sompong or Sompong? Sompong, I think. Um, Talaputo and Pramaha Praiwan Warawano. Oh, I'm blocking again. Went live on Facebook over the weekend to talk about news and politics. Okay, so these two monks they went live. When you say go live or went live, like this, I just went live, right? So go live, will go live, went live, already happened. On Facebook, like this, okay, over the weekend. This is a phrase that usually when Thai people speak, or in general, right? We say, oh, on the weekend, blah, blah, blah. But we don't say over the weekend. Now, if you could say over the weekend, it just sounds more smooth and natural to the ears, right? So over the weekend, it's like sometimes between, okay, um, Saturday and Sunday, okay? Between this time frame, right? Between Saturday and Sunday. So we say over the weekend. So what do they do over the weekend? Well, talk about news and politics. News. This word is pronounced N-O-O-Z, right? We don't say new, no. Guys, we don't say sala ew, 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 no. We don't say ew. We say ooh, ooh, eh? news. News with a Z sound as well, okay? Z. News. 
right? That's how you're supposed to say news. ใหม่ก็เหมือนกัน N E W N E W is new, right? We don't say new. No, new, right? So news and politics. All right, let's continue. You guys <laughs> still following, right? The talk show where they use teenager slang was a hit. Mm. At one point, the session had 200,000 viewers. However, Buddhist authorities did not find it amusing. All right, so many words, right? So the talk show, you know, talk show, yeah, the show that they talk, 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 right? And they use teenage slang. Now, I I believe everybody knows what slang is. Okay, so slang is like informal words. Okay, um. Informal words. Sometimes they're not even included in the dictionary. Sometimes do, sometimes don't. So, um, like informal, right? Let me try to write clearly. So, used mainly by teenagers. Okay, was a hit. Was popular. At one point, okay, the session, the session, the live stream, right, had 200,000 viewers. That is a lot of viewers, right? A lot of people watching at the time. So I mean, look at me right now. I had like less than 100, but this had a lot of viewers, 200,000. That's a lot. However, Buddhist authorities. Now let's take a look at this word here, authorities. It means people, but who are these people? The people in power. They have the authority or they have power to decide on something, right? And in this case, they're the Buddhist authorities. So authorities relating to Buddhism, right? You can you can think about their very high ranked monks also. So they did not find it amusing, right? This word here. So amusing, they did not find it amusing. Let's say amusing is like funny or entertaining, right? Now, this word find it. Find it in here. It doesn't mean literally look for something. No, it doesn't mean look for something. It means think, right? In their own opinion, they think. In this case, they did not think it's funny. They did not think it's amusing. They did not find it amusing. Okay, so it's a very common expression by native speakers. Find it. So you will learn how to use this phrase today. All right. Let's move on. Okay, next one. Listen. Okay. Let me just remove myself. Well, the avatar. Boom. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay. Listen. For Buddhist monks to live stream, laugh, and ask for donations, is against sangha rules, according to critics. All right. So for Buddhist monks, what about Buddhist monks? To live stream, okay. Well, to live stream, not just to live stream, but look, the main point is this one: to live stream, and this is important. And okay, so live stream, laugh, and ask for donations is against sangha rules. Mm. Sangha, okay. What are sangha rules? You know sangha, right? Sangha are monks, pikku, right? Pikku or pikuni. So. Um, Sangha rules, you know, for Piku, there are 227 precepts, right? And for Piku Ni, 311 precepts. Um, these are the rules, the rules how to conduct yourself to be in monkhood, okay? So these are the rules to behave themselves for monks. So, so that's why the, cr the critics are not happy. Who are the critics? Okay, critics are people who criticize. People who criticize. So, so they're, they're not very happy, right? They criticize the monks for, hey, you're not supposed to do this and that, okay? It's not proper, blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's move on. The assistant abbot of Wat Rakhang Khositaram said no serious religious offense appears to have been committed by the monks. So in this temple, okay, in case, uh, Felix, you're from Malaysia, right? What is temple, a Buddhist temple? So the name of the temple is Rakhang Khositara. Now, who is the assistant abbot? The assistant abbot, let's take a look at abbot first. Abbot is, okay, it's a very specific term for Buddhists, okay? It's Jao Awad. 
the head, the, 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 the chief monk, let's say. The chief, the chief monk or the head monk of this temple. Now, the assistant is the position lower than the head monk. Hey, from Sri Lanka. <laughs> okay, nice. So, assistant, chief monk, basically. The, the assistant is like helper, right? Nah. assistant abbot. All right, so, so, hey, there was no serious offense. Offense is like, um, uh, okay, like some wrongdoing or wrong action. Um, committed, done, okay? Taken, action taken. Committed is action taken by the monks. We say committed, right? So that's what the assistant abbot is saying. Okay, let's continue. It is a modern communication tool that reaches out to young people and can help with stress, he said. So the assistant abbot said, okay, it's a modern communication tool. Communication tool is um, right? Modern, modern is new, right? New. Um, that reaches out to people. When you reach out for something, right? So when I have the water, the glass of water is sitting far away, right? Uh, reaching out, boom. So the assistant Abba is saying that these two monks are just trying to reach young people, right? To reach out, reach out to young people um, to help them reduce stress. Now, what is stress? Quam kriyat. Stress, right? Quam kriyat. Stress. Oh. When you have a headache or something, you know, maybe because you had a stress, right? Okay. Last one. Last one, guys. However, if monks ask for donations, they must provide clear details of money going in and out of their accounts, he said. Okay. So, if monks ask for donations, okay, they must provide clear details. Mm -hmm. Clear details. So, donation. What, what, what are donations? Okay, donations are, are um, money given by people. You know. Basically, for free, you know, borijak, uh, right? Uh, they must give or provide clear details where the money, what accounts, basically, this is referring to bank accounts, okay? So it must be clear how much money is going in and out and uh, uh, what account, what is the account number? It must be transparent, must be clear to the public. Next. Meanwhile, Pramaha Prayawan said that his life program was to bring religion closer to the people and had to deepen their understanding of the Dhamma. Okay, meanwhile, meanwhile is um, uh, in this time, during which time, okay, um, this monk here, Pramaha, probably one, said his life program, the live stream, um, was intended, okay? They had a good intention, right? To bring religion or Buddhism closer to people and deepen. Okay, what is deepen? Deepen is a verb, all right? It means make something deeper, okay? Make something deeper. For example, make somebody understand something deeper, understand more about what? About Dhamma as he claims, right, about Dhamma or the Buddhist teaching. It's called Tamma or Dhamma, right? Okay, and last one here. The National Office of Buddhism was gathering details of the live session for investigation. Um, so, National Office of Buddhism, what is, what is the name in Thai? Anyone knows? Let me search. National um, Office of Buddhism. Okay. Here we go. Samnakan Putasasana Hang Shad. There we go. Okay. Samnakan Putasasana Hang Shad. Um, so there were gathering. Okay. Was gathering. Gathering is like collecting. Ah, there we go. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Great. Thanks a lot. Okay. So gathering means getting. Okay. Getting details. Okay. Simply put it is getting. 
details or you can say collecting details รายละเอียดไว้ of the live session for investigation okay investigation guys can you say this word can you say investigation okay let me help you investigation five syllables investigation okay one more thing guys t i o n okay t i o n here don't say shan no no it's not it's not shan like this okay it's shun sala right shun 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 investigation okay investigation and we emphasize this syllable investigation okay so what does it mean investigation s u p s u n yeah s u p s u n right to find out the truth of what actually happened okay so guys let's work on our vocabulary okay so what is the first one the first word that I want you to really understand and to be able to use it in a sentence okay is called Amusing. Can you say amusing? Amusing is an adjective. Now, as I said before, it basically means it basically means funny slash entertaining. Okay, I know that a lot of you out there might have probably seen this word, but are not confident enough to actually implement it in your speech. So I'm gonna help you here. All right, so this is a template sentence. I want you to notice. Okay, I want you to really observe how um, it works. So example sentence is, I didn't find his jokes amusing at all. Hmm. Somebody was making a joke, right? It's like, hey, 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 blah 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 blah. And then I go like, I go like, because I don't think it's funny, right? I didn't find his joke, his jokes amusing at all. So remember, when you say "find" in this case, it doesn't mean literally to look for something. No, ไม่ได้หาอะไรนะ Find is think. Okay, it's about opinions. So make a sentence below. Okay, I want you to replace this piece of information right here. His jokes. I want you to remove his jokes. And I want you to replace it with something else from your own personal idea. Write the whole sentence out. I didn't find da 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 amusing at all. ฉันไม่คิดว่าเรื่องนี้ตลก right? So I didn't find da 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 amusing at all. And type that um, sentence in the comment box below, and I will give you some shout outs. Okay, I will feature your comments also. And uh, yeah, please do that right now. I'll give you some a few seconds to write the sentence down. I didn't find da 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 amusing at all. Okay. So how how can you use this? Okay. Um, three ways you can do it. Okay. I didn't find. So, I didn't find. So three ways. Okay. First, you can use a noun. For example, noun phrase his jokes. Or you can use um, noun also. It's a gerund verb ing. Um, uh, okay. The let's say the laughing. Uh, laughing ing, or laughing. What else am I laughing? Um, uh, continuously. Okay, amusing at all. Okay. Another way is you can use um, a pronoun, okay, like this: him, her, um, them, um, and then verb ing, okay. Verb ing. So I didn't find them laughing constantly, amusing at all. Okay, sounds a bit strange, but it does work. So oh, I was blocking too. Great. <laughs> Anyways, just keep it simple. I didn't find blank amusing at all. So first one, we have Kun Miki said, "I didn't find picking on friends amusing at all." Okay, that's really good. Kun Miki said, "Picking on friends." Okay, what is picking on friends? 
picking on friends means clang, right? Teasing your friends, bullying them is picking on them. All right, so that's good. That's a good one. So, so it means that doing bad things to people is not supposed to be funny. You're not supposed to laugh. You're not supposed to 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 laugh about it. It's not supposed to be funny, right? I didn't find the current situation amusing at all. Yeah, I. The current situation, it could be, you know, about the the politics, right? Or the COVID situation. That's really good. That's really good. Anyone else wants to share their ideas, guys? I didn't find d d d okay, amusing at all. The phrase at all means lời, okay? So, so you use it with not, right? Not at all. This one is not at all. Is my lời, right? My t l o k lời na lương ni. Uh huh. All right. So k o n s u a s a i b u n s a I didn't find TV pranks amusing at all. Guys, TV pranks. Prank is clang, right? So you have seen pranks before where uh, people go out publicly and uh, and bully people, tease people, and see their reactions like a some sort of social experimentation. That is called a social prank, right? A pranking. Um, so, yeah, sometimes it can go um, over the line. Kun O said, "I don't find his character amusing to laugh at all." Mm. So, um, yes, everyone has their own character, right? Or b u k h l i k right? Um, so, so we don't make fun. Okay, I think that's what she's trying to say here. Now you can say I don't. It means right now I don't think so. Okay. If you say I didn't, it already happened. Something happened, and back then you thought about it or you didn't think. All right. So you can use I don't for now that you're thinking now, or you can use I didn't about the event back there in the past. Right? Because it happened in the past. Back then you had a thought also. So you must say I didn't find. Um, Kun Momo said, "I didn't find this comedian amusing at all." Yes, because he might have made some some um, offensive jokes. Okay, and uh, it's not supposed to be funny, but uh, yeah, but he did it anyway. Uh, Kun Chao said, "I didn't find his game show amusing at all. Plenty of bullying words were spoken to the guests. You see, that's really good, Kun Chao." Um, bullying words, you know, words that are offensive. They are not kind words. The words that make people feel sad and depressed. So yes, that's why you didn't find the game show amusing. k u n f a m said, "I didn't find myself amusing at all." Yes, don't make fun of me. <laughs> That kind of feeling, right? I understand. I have been bullied before as well, just like everyone, I believe. Can I say? Okay. Oh, you're asking me. Can I say I don't find looking down upon those who are different from you from you amusing at all? Of course you can. Of course you can. A poetic way of speaking, but yes, uh, grammatically accurate. Good job. Yes, you can. Okay, let's move on to the next one that I wanted to share with you. Remember, every time there are three words or phrases that I specifically pick out to teach you. The next phrase is called "over the weekend." Okay, yeah, you're welcome. Over the weekend is a phrase. Okay, it means on the weekend, basically. But why should we use "over the weekend"? When you say "over the weekend," you are thinking in terms of a period. Or a duration of time. So let's say that you have one week, right? In one week, there are seven days. So you have Monday to Sunday. Now this is Sunday and this is Saturday. When you say over the weekend, you are thinking in terms of time frame, right? So this is over the weekend. This time frame here, right? It means that something happens or will happen at some point, okay, during the weekend. So you say over the weekend. Let me show you an example, very basic one. We will pack our bags over the weekend. Maybe you're thinking about going to Pattaya and have a a a short holiday trip, 
you might want to go to a beach or have some seafood, right? And and in order to get yourself ready, you must pack your bags, right? So you could say, we will pack our bags um, over the weekend, right? We will pack our bags over the weekend. Um, oops. Okay. Um, okay. So you can change we. You can change the subject. Okay, and you can change the action. You can change it. Switch from pack our bags to something else. All right, change it completely, and uh, tell me about your plan um, this weekend. Okay, thinking ahead, thinking ahead. What are you going to do this weekend or over the weekend? So you can say I, you, we, they will. Right, um, John will. Mary and John will, all right. The government will. You could even say that, right? The monks will. So do something. So change pack our bags to something over the weekend. Kunmiki is very fast. Kunmiki said, "I will. I will have a business meeting. I will have a business meeting in Chiang Mai over this weekend." Mm. In Chiang Mai over this weekend. Well done, well done. I suppose you have to drive or take a plane there to do that, or you can simply log into Zoom and discuss the meeting there. Kun O said we will do the camping over the weekend. Sounds like fun. Where do you plan to do that? Hmm. I'm going to visit my siblings. In s i s a g e t Province over this weekend, Kun Chao said. So siblings, guys, in case you didn't know, siblings means brother or sister. It doesn't matter if they're younger or older than you. It means either a brother or a sister. Okay, so siblings means two or more, right? Siblings, pinong, basically. Kun a p i s i t said, it would be helpful if you could change the background color. We can't read your handwriting clear at all. Ah, you're talking to me. <laughs> I agree with you. In fact, um, I should probably change the pen color. Mm -hmm. But because my writing pad is very old <laughs> and I'm still using it, I pr should probably get a more um, advanced one than this. But yeah, good point. Thank you. Kun Tirapon said, "I'm going to eat pizza over the weekend." That's what I would do too. But I am on diet. <laughs> nice one, guys. Okay, good job. And the last one. Ah, let me read one more. I will read the upcoming editorial column of Bangkok Post over the weekend. Good job. The best one there. Okay, let me just, yeah, give it a shout out so people can see. Promoting Bangkok Post, right? <laughs> That's essentially what we're doing here. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Okay, Momo, I will come back and read yours. Okay, but let's move on. Gather. This one is gather. It's a verb. Everybody say gather. Okay, the G sound, guys. The G sound. This is one of my pronunciation secrets. It's called adding weight. p e r m a m n a G is G, right? We don't say g. We don't say gather, right? We say g. You need to like really feel your throat vibrating and uh, hold it and then let it go. G, gather, right? Hardcore go guy, right? Gather. It's a verb. It means to get. It means to obtain. It means to collect, right? Let me. Since it's hard to see, I'm gonna write bigger. There we go. Collect, right? So squirrels got rock, right? The squirrels are busy gathering nuts. Ah, พวกถั่วอะไรพวกนี้ฮะ They're busy gathering. They're getting the nuts, right? Because squirrels love nuts. So the squirrels are busy gathering nuts. Now I want you to create a sentence of your own. Create a sentence using busy gathering. Okay. So change the subject once again. Change the subject. Change the squirrels. It could be people, right? The people are busy, or if it's singular, one thing or one person. You go, and the I don't know, the 
the, the prime minister is busy. I don't know what he's busy about, but anyways, gathering something. Um, so it's up to you, really. Um, change the subject and match the verb with the subject, okay? Is or are or was or were if you talked about the past, right? Gathering something. Change the word nuts to something. Okay. Um, uh, I always print out and read crap. Mm. Okay. Kun Chao, people are... People... Gathering is... Oh, okay. Okay. You didn't... Okay. No need to follow the template I gave you, okay? As long as you use gather or gathering. But let's see this one. People gathering is prohibited. Ah, oh, okay. Okay. During the lockdown situation. Okay. Ah, okay. In this case, it means ah, I know what you mean. Yes, it is prohibited. Cannot be done. Prohibited. It means cannot be done right now because of the lockdown um, law and the situation. Yes, for sure. Kun. Kun. Kun Can you type in Thai your name? Because I'm, I'm not sure how to call your name um, every time. Uh, I don't want to mispronounce your name. Uh, anyways, you said, I am so busy gathering data on my research. Ah, research is which I, right? So gathering, you have to gather um, uh, information or data. Two ways you can say, you can say data or data. I think Americans would say data, right? Uh-huh. Kun kai kai, right? <laughs> the prime minister is busy gathering votes. Hmm, votes. <laughs> I have to say that. I will be busy gathering information to finish my thesis over this weekend. Yes, thesis is something that not everybody enjoys. Muang on. Muang on. Thank you. Now everybody knows how to say your name, okay? You can say hi to Kun Muang on. Um, Kun O said, I'm busy gathering the clothes because it starts it started to rain. It has started raining. Kun Chakri said, from what I can gather, oh that's that is a good expression. The Buddhist uh, authorities will not expel the monks. Yeah. From based on the information he said that the uh, the authorities will not kaplai or expel the monks. Uh, okay last one Kun Momo I missed out your on your um sentence the last time. I will read it this time, okay? Sorry about that. People who love to learn English always gather on Bangkok Post Learning every Tuesday at 4.30 p.m. Wow, I love it. This is great. Good job. But okay, guys, when you say, okay, just a tiny correction, okay, may I? When you say every, you don't need on anymore. If you say on Tuesday, yes, you say on. On Tuesday, but when you say every Tuesday, you do not need on anymore because you already have every. Okay? Yeah. Okay, let's move on, guys. I have a game for everyone. You guys want to play a game? Game. I want you to choose the wrong answer. There are four answers to this question. Okay? Choose the, the most wrong. <laughs> the wrongest? No. The most wrong answer. Why were the critics upset? Mm. Again, if you don't know critics, is the people... Is the people who criticize... Vichana, Khun Vichana, right? Crit criticize. Upset. Uh, not happy. Okay, so choose the most wrong answer. You got A, B, and C, and D. Yes. So A, the monks asked for donations. The monks asked for donations. Mm. Is this why the critics got upset? Because they asked for donations? Yes or no? Remember, we're looking for the wrong answer. Okay. B, the monks used slang words. The monks used improper, okay, slang words. My my awesome, right? Slang words. Come my awesome. My my right? C. 
The monks discussed. Discussed means talked about, right? The monks discussed politics with laughter, right? Ha ha ha! And talking and laugh, talking and laugh, talking and laugh. Okay. They got upset because of this. Hmm. And D, the monks went on a live stream and had 200,000 viewers. So many viewers. Did they get jealous or upset because of this? Okay, choose the wrong answer. There is one wrong answer. A, B, C, or D. A, B, C, or D, guys. I uh, will give you five seconds, guys. Put it down below, even if it's wrong. Who cares? Right? We don't judge each other in here. This is Bangkok Post Learning. It's learning. Everybody is learning. Right? When we're learning, we make mistakes. Because if you don't make mistakes, you don't need to learn anymore. All right? Because you're already perfect. But we are not yet perfect. So we must make mistakes and we must be willing to try. A, B, C, or D. Comment down below. Okay? A, B, C, or D. We got answers coming in from Kun Muong On, Kun Momo. Kun Tirapon, Kun Kelly, Kun Kun Puttashat, Kun O. All right. Anyone else? Gonna count down now. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Time's up. So the wrong answer, the wrong answer for this question. Why were the critics upset? Okay, with the bunks. Why? Because. No, because, yes, because they ask for donations, right? It's not transparent, not yet transparent. And it's ask, it, for the monks to be asking donations. Is it proper or not? That is still being discussed. The monks also use slang words to please the teenagers watching. Is that appropriate for the monks to be doing? That is being discussed. C. The monks discussed politics with laughter. They talk and they laugh about it, constantly laughing. Is that proper as a monk to conduct themselves? Is it proper? That is being discussed. So D, they went on a live stream and had so many followers. That is the wrong answer because monks can go on a live stream and had as many followers as a million people or more. One viewer or million, 10 million viewers, doesn't matter. It's not the point. It's not why they got upset. So these three, A, B, and C, are the reasons that the critics got upset. D is not a real reason, okay? So if you answered D, well done. Congratulations. Don't forget to hit like also. If you answered correctly, like for yourself. All right, in the next section here is the listening section. We call it dictation. Dictation means that you listen and you type down, okay? Sometimes it's listen and speak out. This time it's listen and type out because I cannot physically hear you, right? So you need to type in the comment box so I can read. So I want you to do that. I'm going to play the audio three times. This is a one sentence. One sentence. I'm going to play three times. Turn the volume up right now if you have earphones. Go ahead and use them. Okay, listen up three times. Let's go. However, Buddhist authorities did not find it amusing. However, Buddhist authorities did not find it amusing. However, Buddhist authorities did not find it amusing. Okay, guys. Dictation. Type down what you heard. Type down in the comment box what you heard. Okay, I am waiting for you right now to finish typing while I'm sipping water. This is called sipping. Sip. S I P. I am sipping. Mm hmm. Okay. And I just swallowed water. All right. So, guys, go ahead. <laughs> Any reward for the first correct answer? I suppose I could give you a, a love emoji <laughs> if you consider that a reward. Um, yeah, I could do that, yes. I'm not going to kiss you. I could give you a, a love emoji. <laughs> All right, come on, guys. Ah, the first one, first one. Kuno said, however, the authority did not 
find it amusing. Hmm. I think there's one word missing though. <laughs> Very good. Well done. Because you're the first one. Oh yeah. Come on, guys. Let me see. Let me see. I will give you 10 seconds. Okay, 10 seconds to finish writing. It doesn't have to be the whole thing. If you didn't catch the whole thing, no problem. Just type down whatever, what all that you heard. The keywords, fine, whatever. Just participate, interact, get yourself active. Okay. Couldn't get any pass it. However, Buddhist authorities did not find it amusing. Well done. Kunmomo said, however, the authorities did not find it amusing. Okay. Uh, you don't need the word was there anymore. Mm -hmm. Just find it adjective. That's it. Um, Kun Lamin. However, Buddhist authorities, no problem about spelling. Don't worry about spelling. Buddhist authorities did not find it amusing. Well done. Yes, Kun Mong on. However, the Buddhist authorities did not find it amusing. Nicely done. Okay. So here is the answer. This is what you were supposed to have heard. This one. Boom. Did you get it correctly? However, Buddhist authorities did not find it amusing. A couple of you did get it perfectly correct. Well done. Yay. Should I give a love emoji to you guys? I'll give it to Kun Muong On, I suppose, because he asked for a reward. And there you go. Okay. Um, okay, well done, guys. Let's listen once more, three times. However, Buddhist authorities did not find it amusing. However, Buddhist authorities did not find it amusing. However, Buddhist authorities did not find it amusing. So it's not surprising if you didn't catch it at all because in English, we tend to connect sounds together. We tend to connect words together. So instead of saying Buddhist, pause, authorities. We say Buddhist, so, Buddhist so authorities. Buddhist, so, so like that. Buddhist authorities. Connected in one sound, okay? Connected. Buddhist authorities. Buddhist authorities. Okay? Find it also. We don't say find it. We don't say find, pause, it. We say find it, find it, find it. Three, say three times, guys. Find it three times. Okay, well done. Find it amusing. Okay, you can even connect to this one if you want to. Find it, find it amusing. Yeah, find it amusing. Okay, you need more practice with that. Okay, I have a course for that if you want to um, expand your skills further. Okay, guys, your opinions. What do you think about monks acting as entertainers? Okay, what do you think about monks acting as entertainers? So entertainers nak bantung, right? Monks acting like entertainers. Do you agree or disagree? Guys, we share opinions, okay? And we don't judge each other here. Just opinions, no problem. Just make it polite, that's all. That's all, that's all I ask you. We don't judge each other. You can like the monks. You can dislike the monks. Okay, you can dislike the monks, um, but we don't judge each other because we have differences in opinions. Okay. So for me, my personal opinion. Okay, my personal opinion is if you are a monk, and this this is not Bangkok post. This is me. Okay, if you are a monk, you are supposed to act in accordance. With the Sangha rules. See, in 227 call, it says specifically in the rules how you must conduct yourself as a monk. Now, for entertainers, anybody can be an entertainer, okay? You don't need to be a monk to be an entertainer. You can be an entertainer like this. I can entertain people, right? I'm not funny, but I can entertain people. There are many great entertainers out there, like Nanek or or um, Not Udom or these people. Okay, 
sorry to mention, I love them. They're really funny. They're really, really, really funny. Okay, it's their jobs, their roles. I believe the job of the monks is to make merit, is to be good examples, how to be um, humble, how to help people, how to reach enlightenment. Okay, that is my opinion anyway. Um, that is my opinion. I also got ordained. I also got ordained in India. Train up a board man at India. You pan san and lay. No, four months. Yeah. Um, I was very, very cautious with how I conducted myself as a monk. When I have the ropes, when you have the ropes, the uniform, you must obey the uniforms. Okay. You must not try to try to um, think or do whatever you want to do to please people. No. Okay, anyone else want to share their opinions? Um, comment down below. Okay, I want to hear your opinions about this. It's okay if you say that, oh, I love the monks because they're funny and that's how blah, blah, blah. It's fine, okay? I'm not going to judge you just because we have a difference in our opinion. No problem. Okay, but we are polite. The way that we express ourselves in this um, live stream is we are polite. Okay. Okay, let me read out Kun Jakri's. Uh, and then I will come back to Kun Momo. Okay, let, let me read out Kun Jakri's first. Okay. And you can see my face as well. I think it's just the, 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 the tempest in a teapot. Everything has to change. If monks don't keep up with the times, religion will wane. Wow. Nice writing. Um, the younger generation doesn't quite grasp religious perceptions, so it might be monk's duty to reach out to them, making it more fun and so on. You see, that's also a good point. It is a good point. I do agree with Kun Chakri in the sense that monks should understand people more. Understand the audience, speak their language, understand their concerns, what their desires are, but it must be within the rules of monkhood, okay? If it's outside of the rules, okay, this is my opinion, if it's outside the rules, don't wear the ropes. You don't need the ropes to be entertainers. That is my opinion. But yes, I do agree with Kun Chakri in that point. Kun Momo said, as long as the monks can draw the viewers and they can give the Buddhist values to them, not a thing wrong. Exactly. If they, if they stick to the teachings of the Buddha, if they stick to the teachings of the Buddha, how they do it doesn't matter. Mm, good point. Kun Pan, right? P-U-N-N, Pan. In my opinion, it doesn't bother me as long as they don't tell a dirty joke. Okay, so uh, guys, if you don't know, dirty jokes means like uh, 18 plus jokes, okay? Under the belt. So as long as they don't tell dirty jokes, um, Kun Pan said she's fine with that. Okay. Yes, anyone else wants to share your opinions? Anyone else? I will give, um, yeah, one more minute for you to type down because I think it has, it has been a good show today. And thank you very much for sharing up your opinions. Um, this is, I think this is beneficial, okay? Um, it's, it's, a, it's a place where you, you can feel safe to share your opinions, all right? I feel like it's kind of like Clubhouse. <laughs> People call in and share their thoughts. Yeah, but in this case, you're typing and I'm like talking. <laughs> Anyone else? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, <laughs> 3, 2, 1. Okay, time's up. All right. So guys, that was fun today, okay? Don't forget to come back again on News Hub Live 
Um, every Tuesday at 4.30. Oh, we have one more coming in. Good morning on. See? Uh, he said that as a monk, you should strictly follow the Buddhist principles and become, oh, and be more careful about the upcoming um, consequences of doing something beyond your direct responsibility. I love that. I love that. Wow. I mean, I love the way that you composed your sentences. I love the way that you, you know, you, you, you can express your critical thinking. That's great. So if you don't know, principles means lakkan, right? Principles. Lakkan. So Buddhist principles mean lak kong putta sasana. Um, consequences pon lap pon ti ja, um, da, pon ti ja, Right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Ah, okay, yeah, that no problem, no problem. You guys can use voice typing as well. Okay, guys, so thank you very much today for joining News Hub Live on Bangkok Post Learning Facebook page. And we're here every Tuesday at 4.30. Um, so don't forget to tune in again. And people on my page watching this, yes, please next time come to um, Bangkok Post Learning Facebook page so I can talk to you, I can interact with you. I cannot see your comments right now because I am appearing on Bangkok Post um, platform. So just so you know the reason why I haven't answered you. Okay, so Bangkok Post Learning, guys, Visit bangkokpost.com slash learning for more news articles that contains many useful vocabulary words and phrases with tons of highlighted words so you can learn the meanings, the translations of each, learn how to make sentences, listen to Gary Boyle and work on your British accent as well if you want, <laughs> if you are bored of my American accent. And also, if you want to work on your pronunciation and sound very close to a native, you need to learn my seven pronunciation secrets. I have a course about that, and I am going to share the link in the comment box if you haven't enrolled. So, very important, if you want to get this out of the way, you want to focus on your careers, you need to get the language part out of the way, meaning you need to, 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 to perfect it, okay? You don't have to worry about it at all. Just learn it one time, improve it, and it will stay with you for life, all right? So that's the course that I have designed, Pronunciation Secrets and Fit English 365. Thank you very much for showing up here on News Hub Live, and I will see you again next Tuesday at 4.30. Thank you guys for your participation. Thank you for liking. Thank you for sharing. And thank you for being part of this community. I'm Trainer Ben, and I'm signing off now. See you next Tuesday, guys. Bye.